It's hailed as the most fertile land in the world, the Cahuilla Delta in central California's San Joaquin Valley. But the Cahuilla River, which made the area ideal for farming, also brought frequent flooding. That's why the Corps of Engineers built Terminus Dam in the early 60s. While keeping floodwaters away from homes and businesses, the dam continued to release irrigation water to farms downstream. Now, the Corps, working with state and Cahuilla Delta Water Conservation District partners, has increased the dam's level of flood protection and its water storage capacity by installing the world's largest fuse gates, concrete barriers that will tip over when the water gets too high. It's a, a fuse as you would have in a car to protect the car. The fuse gate is here to protect the dam. Lake water will have to get to about 20 feet above the fuse gates before the first of six topples. Activated through a series of pipes and wet wells, the water lifts the gate, which is then pushed out of the way and downstream. Each time the water reaches another half foot higher, another gate will fall, channeling the flood water safely away. It's a very simple design. It has no moving parts. It's got no electrical components or mechanical components. The gates will operate if nobody is here. As the lake rose this spring to the height of the 21-foot fuse gates, it gained more than 42,000 additional acre-feet of storage, or 25% more water. In California, where water is like gold, every drop is vital to the state's explosive industrial and population growth. One of the big challenges with, with water, providing water for the state, is um, it's very hard to develop new reservoirs um, because of environmental restrictions. What we're heading towards, I believe, is, is more of this type of retrofit where existing dams can be enlarged to increase not only the flood protection but provide more irrigation and municipal water um, for the people that are going to need it. With half a million visitors each year, Lake Cahuilla's enlargement has benefited recreation by providing a longer tourist season. A new boat launch facility is in the works to help offset the loss of one that was flooded when the lake expanded. The expansion also required the raising of a roadway and a bridge, as well as construction of a dike to protect a hotel at the head of the lake. To mitigate any lost vegetation or wildlife habitat, the Corps developed four environmental features, including a 1,300-acre waterfowl habitat and a 4,000-acre oak ranch. As the Corps seeks to balance environmental concerns with human development, the fuse gate design may just be the solution to the water resource challenges of future generations. I'm Jay Field, Lake Cahuilla.